Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome to today's video. We're going to continue Fog of War. This is a game that I started a couple months ago. I tried the prologue and now finally the uh, developer Story Machine Studios has released the first chapter. It actually came out on the 6th of January, so if you want to check it out, you can do so by checking out their Patreon. And you can also check out the link that I have on my website, scavenger.com. But we're going to continue where we left off. Kinda. I'll explain in just a second, but let's go ahead and get into the game. Alright, here we are on chapter one, and we are starting out um, a little bit of... Okay, a little bit risque. I wasn't expecting that, but anyway, so... I guess I have to explain where we're actually starting out in the story because I cut my last video a little short, like right before the end of the prologue. So basically, uh, Reed, who I've named the main character, Reed Richards was a, uh, you know, he was kind of like a special ops guy. He has an eidetic memory, um, and he was doing a lot of crazy stuff with his, uh, with his unit, basically. Anyway... Uh, it affected his relationship with his lady, and it also affected his uh, like mental status, I guess you could say. Uh, he was starting to feel like yeah, maybe he's losing his soul. And so he went to his commander and decided, hey, he's hanging up the towel. He's uh, going to go ahead and call it and said, hey, I'm done with this whole military shit. All right. And then uh, basically he decided, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm going to pursue a medical degree. And that's kind of where it ended with him starting off going to medical school. So now we are here. We can go ahead and get into it from right there. I don't think I need to explain anything else. Like I said, if you want to play yourself, do so. And figure out all the fun and excitement on your own. But uh, hey, if you decide you like this video while you're watching, go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And make sure you turn on those bell notifications that way you always know when I'm going live or uploading new content. Now, let's see what's going on with this bottle of wine. Alright, alright. Uh, so she put the wine down. I'm assuming wine, something, champagne, whatever. And she's taking the glass away. Mysterious woman. Kira, fire on. Where are you going? So she's just by herself. She's just having a glass by herself. Oh, and there is something in there. Okay. I thought she took the empty glass away. She poured her um, wine or whatever. And now she's just hanging out in her lingerie as one does. I do that all the time. That's how, this is how I go around my house. Somebody's calling. All right. What do we got? We got a gun. We got a phone. We got three tables. Hello. Oh, short hair. Okay. Uh, okay. Male or female voice. I'm going to go male on this one. Hello, miss. We have an assignment for you. I'm listening. We need you to get close to and monitor Mr. Reed Richards. We are already acquainted. Oh, who is this woman? And why do they want to get close to Reed? Well, we kind of know, I think, why they want to get close to Reed if you watched the last video. I think maybe this has something to do with it. Excellent, miss. Monitor his activity, and if you notice any drastic changes in behavior or health, alert us. Can I make things more personal if needed? You have full autonomy to do what's needed, but do not harm him. Understood. Your ticket to New Teton and Intel will be dropped at the usual spot. Goodbye. Okay, so she is some sort of double agent or spy or something. All right. I'm kind of digging her short hair. I don't know why. And now we're here at the School of Medicine. All right. Hello. How can I help you? She looks like she's had a long day at the office. Hello, um, I'm just here to register. Can I get your name, please, dear? Reed Richards. Give me one moment here. Oh, yes, so you'll be emailed your class timeline. Also, you'll be assigned a student guide for the day to show you around. The gym and cafeteria are in separate buildings on campus. 
Looks to me like you'll be using both. Let's see who your guide is. Hmm. Angelica Zelenov. She'll meet you in the cafeteria in about 30 minutes. Once you exit the main entrance, take a right and follow the main road. You can't miss it. I texted you a photo of her student ID so you can identify her. Great. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Just call me Dee Dee, dear. Welcome to Richard Winters. Thanks, Dee Dee. Appreciate your time. All right, we're here. We're in medical school. What are we going to do? What are we going to learn? I wonder what kind of doctor he wants to be. I don't know if we discussed that. I don't know if he, uh, he just wants to be a doctor. Maybe a general practitioner. I don't know. Maybe he just wants to be a doctor of love. All right, looks like we're in the cafeteria, probably waiting for, um, uh, what's her name? Oh, we got some people. Is he talking to me? Hey, what's up, Chad? No, I'm not Chad. Huh? Oh, my name isn't Chad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Giga Chad. Okay, I know what's going on. What? With a jawline like that and biceps the size of Mount Everest, you are definitely a Chad. Okay, wait, what, what? Don't do that look, Reed. You look like you, you're into it. <laughs> Name's Vincent. Reed. Haven't seen you around here before. Is this your first year? Yeah, it is. Tell you what, Freshie. Hang around me and I'll make sure you get to the right places and meet the right women. Oh? What makes you the resident expert? <laughs> Experience. There's no substitute. Okay. And who do we have here? Is this my lady friend that is going to show me around? Well, Vincent, my first guide is much cuter. So I'm going to have to blow you off this time around, okay? I can't say I blame you, bro, Hammer. All right, catch you around, Vincent. Is Vincent going to be my new best friend? Hmm. And who do we have here? Hello, uh, Angelica? Hello, you must be Reed. Yeah, that's me. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Okay, we have a lot to cover. I'll make sure we stop by the gym. I'm sure that's a priority for you. How come everyone just assumes that Reed likes to work out? Maybe he's naturally built. No one thinks about these things. Maybe it's just all natural. Maybe Reed doesn't do anything except get up in the morning and just throw on his good looks and head to work. I hear dad bod during these days. Maybe I can afford to slack off. I'm starting to think everyone here just sees me as a gym junkie anyways. Exactly. I don't go to the gym that often. I just look good, naturally. Okay? I can't help it. I was born with this. Well, you didn't get into medical school just being brawny. Oh, you make a valid point. We'll also visit the main lecture hall and the labs. This sounds awfully suspect. You're not luring me in to be experimented on, are you? <laughs> Why, yes. Okay, a little Dr. Evil there. We are experimenting on men's brains. We want to turn off their sex drives and make them obedient servants. Telling me your plan is a poor way of luring me in. No one ever escapes. Oh, well, there's a first time for everything. Speaking of first times, the first week of med school is surprisingly laid back. It's rather social. There is an introduction seminar, otherwise you can attend the various events around campus and be a hermit until class starts. Okay, what kind of events? Barbecues and parties. Your typical college party stuff. We all need that college experience. Well, I can make your college culinary experience much better. It's not on the list. I can show you the secret cafe. Sounds mysterious. It's not really that much of a secret, but it's close by and quite frankly has way better coffee and food than our cafeteria. All right, you know what? I think uh, it's the morning. I assume I th we got to start out with a cup of coffee. We we've got to. So um, uh, let's go. Uh, I already Angelica. I was gonna say I already forgot her name. Miss Angelica. All right, just follow me. Here we go. Why is there a fucking like guard dog? You see this dog? That's not just some ordinary pooch. That is a fucking rabid beast. 
Was that a Doberman? Anyway. The latte has some black coffee here to die for. Okay. I believe you, Angelica. Jesus Christ, that dog is big. Down, boy. Oh, he actually looks okay. He's cute. What a cute little puppers. Who's a good Astro dog? Whoa, <laughs> that is a big dog. He's a giant cutie. He's the owner's dog. Oh, he seems to know you well. I am a regular here. I also walk him for Mr. Spiner. Okay, what don't you volunteer for? Um, is she pointing or is she like, hmm? The military. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm here because of the military. Really? Served six years. That's not a very long time, bro. Come on, Reed. That's not a very long time. I expected more out of you. Six years? I won't hold it against you, Reed. I just expected more. I played Fog of War once. Same thing, right? Sure. Sure, we'll say that. It'll be fine. All right, let's get you a recruiter. You are destined for special operations. Well, I think we all enjoyed that little chuckle. Let's head inside. What do you think? I mean, I haven't had the coffee or anything yet, but the atmosphere looks okay. If I'm being honest, it's like every other coffee shop. You say that now. I'll wait until you have the coffee. Okay, that's what we're waiting for. Let's have the goods. Let's see. In fact, I'm going to treat you to one. Wait, that that is not. Stop right there, mister. I don't want to hear another word. Okay, shit. How do you take your coffee? Black, please. Oh, a man of culture, I see. Back in a flash. I mean, I could have gone up there to the counter with her, or I could have sat down. Am I still standing up somewhere? Prepare for an assault on your taste buds. It's more like heaven than coffee. Enjoy. Well, thank you very much. What do you think? I mean, you just barely gave it to me. Hold on, have I even taken a sip yet? Do you call this coffee? Well, yeah, I... Uh... I... I... I thought... I call this heaven. You can regret that, mister. <laughs> okay. Let's get out on the head to the main lecture hall. Alright, main lecture hall. Here we come. He is big. Okay. I didn't notice it before. Or he got stung by a bee. Maybe he's allergic to the coffee. But he is way bigger than what I remember him looking like in this, this specific render. Or maybe it's just that he's next to uh, a petite lady, and so you can really notice the difference. Dude is fucking jacked. He he is a Giga Chad. This place is huge. Students will come here to hang out on downtime when there are no lectures. You'll have your first orientation here, along with your regular lectures. We also have guest lectures all the time. I highly recommend checking them out, especially if it's someone from your chosen specialty. There is no substitute for experience. <laughs> Alright, that's the second time I've heard that today. You know some wise people. Now to the labs. Alright, yeah, typical looking lab. Nothing uh, nothing interesting here. We got some magnets. Welcome to the labs. I told you I'd get you down here. Now give me your brain. I'll take it then. No, oh, not fair. You're much stronger than I Guess you had better go back to the drawing board on that one, huh? I suppose I can keep you around with your brain intact. Now the best assignments are done here in the labs. It's fun to play with all the tech. What fields have you chosen? Pediatrics. Pediatrics is a respectable field. Okay. I love kids. How about you? Emergency. Is emergency a field in medicine? I don't know. It, it could be. It, it could be, I don't know. That's a great choice given your military background. I thought so too. Well, this concludes our tour. I had fun. As did I. Well, thank you so much for your time. I have to head to the youth shelter and help out. Otherwise, I would give you more. 
She does fucking volunteer for everything. You've given more than enough. Here, take my number. If you need any extra help around the campus, let me know. Thanks, Angelica. This was great. Finally, a gentleman and not a creep. Probably because I didn't hit on her, I guess. Home sweet home. Alright. Now I'm all by myself. What am I going to do with my time? Can I click on this? Yep, I can. Click. I got some. I got a dossier. Alright. I really need to personalize this place. Better get myself a barbecue. That meat won't grill itself. Tomorrow, I'll head up some stores. Time to grab a nap. Then I'll hit the gym. Alright. Sounds good. Alright. What a productive day. I'm so excited. <laughs> Alright everybody, I appreciate you watching. I think we're going to wrap it up right here. It seems like a good spot. You know, he's going to sleep. He's taking a nap. So, uh, we will take a break too. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fog of War. If you did, as I said in the beginning, go ahead and smack that like button if you haven't done that yet. And uh, subscribe to the channel as well. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you again. I appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.